Hello today, welcome back to Rise of the Orient, episode number three in this week's episode. We'll take a look back at my week on Twitch, uh, and we'll preview the week ahead next week. Let's waste no more time, jump straight in with the start of the show. That's right folks, back once again with another summary of my FM18 game save Rise of the Orient. Here we are live on my dashboard, and you can take a sneak peek at just where we are. Top of the table, two points clear of Dagenham and Redbridge. Um, I have played one game since in my last stream, and we actually slipped up against Aldershot. We'll do the Hartlepool game in just a second. But let's bring you up to speed with what's been going on at Brisbane Road. This is what my, current, my squad currently looks like. There's been a few additions and a few players out the door. So let's take a look at some of those players in and out. Let's first take a look at the players going out. Michael Clark went on loan to Harrogate. Uh, Romy Bocco left to Eastleigh. David Mooney went to Limerick. Joe Widdison went to Barnet. And then two loanies also joining Michael Clark, Aaron Pollock, Christian Scales. And the only money actually coming in was Sam Dalby, youngster who went to championship side uh, Norwich. The reason I cut my losses with Bocco, Mooney and Widdison, I've got a lot of cover currently at left back. Uh, Mooney, aging veteran striker, and Bocco. All three of those guys were knocking on around about uh, three, three and a bit grand a week total, uh, which then was a was, that, that gave me the freedom to bring in some players that, who I actually wanted at my club. Uh, I had J Jermaine Grandison on uh, trial early at the start of the season, um, so I brought him in there. Found this little hot bad boy, Christopher Mbamba, Zimbabwean attacking right midfielder. He come in, brought some veterans, Lee Hendry, uh, Gareth Ainsworth, and Ricardo Fuller. But they also added some youth. Uh, most recently, Cassie and Thomas. On, low, uh, on a free deal from uh, Strugglers Bromley. Tommy Orr from Queen's Park, young striker. And Luke Lofts, also a striker formerly on Hull's books. So since you last joined me, depending on if you watched the streams or not, uh, my last summary brought us up to the Wrexham game, which I lost. Um, and then we went into some fixtures, which I'll go over right now. So we started last week's stream with a draw at Ebbsfleet before we picked up our first three points of the week against Dover. 2-1 winners thanks to goals from Macaulay Bon. I've uh, been pronouncing it wrong for the past week. He opened up the scoring. Next up on the score sheet, Harry Chang to Clay over to Bon. Uh, Boko crosses it in and Hamalainen scored his first of many this week. Also in action, we then picked up another three points against Chester. 3-0 winners. Macaulay Bone here providing the assist for Hamalainen's second in two games. Next up on the score sheet, uh, Henry Chang getting involved. Laying it up to Clay over the top. Macaulay Bone. Uh, or Bon again. I am. I, it's a habit. I need to change. He's got his uh, second of the day, and then finally, here we go. Wilson on the score sheet. Great control at the end. Makes it three nil winners against Chester. Then we took on <coughs> Torquay, and the, le the less said about that, the better. The only highlight was our one and only goal. Hammerlinens third in as many games. <coughs> then we took on Solimol Halls. Uh, Solly Moore Halls? <laughs> Solly Hall Moors. Again, less said about that, the better. The only consolation, Macaulay Bond on the score sheet. Again, slipped up some points. Well, not really. We actually uh, uh, took on Hemel Hampstead in the FA Trophy. Uh, but actually forced a replay right at the end. Hamelinen on the score sheet. Next up, it was that replay against Hemel Hampstead. We come out 4-1 winners. Courtesy of goals from young, some youngsters. Soturu on his debut. Um, and then McLean. From a corner, again, another youngster on the score sheet. Next up, our third goal of the day. Dalby getting involved before his transfer to Norwich. He flinged it across off the back of a Hemel Hampstead player into the back of the net. The fourth goal, probably the best of the lot. Dalby getting involved once again. Back to Hammerline, who lost a crossing. Carter Henry squeezes it in at the near post. Again, a debut goal for the youngster. Drop points against Sutton. Another banana skin. 2-2 draw. Macaulay Bond on the score sheet. Uh, that's the first of the night. For us, then Karoma getting involved, uh, brings it out wide, Macaulay Bond sets up Clay for the second. So first and foremost, we took on Maidstone at their gaff. This was a must win for us. They were currently top of the table, or they were, to they, were table uh, they were currently top of the table, but Dayton had op opened up the scoring uh, for us. Uh, then Hammerline was, was on the score sheet once again for Leighton Orient's second. The third and final goal of the night, Dayton involved. Setting up the main man, Macaulay Bono squeezes it in 
Uh, so that's third goal of the night. That was right at the end. Then we did force uh, have an, another banana skin when we slipped up at Dagenham Redbridge at home. Again, it was a, it was a big game for us. Macaulay Bone on the score sheet uh, for us. But then we took on Bromley, who were bottom of the table. We needed to win this to continue the momentum. Macaulay Bone getting involved again. Sets up Ochang. Slips it in. Mamamba on his debut. That was a uh, debut to remember for the lad. Another Zimbabwean fella. Uh, also on the score sheet, wasn't he? Macaulay Bone getting on the end of this one. Hammerlinen. Sets up Macaulay Bond. So both Zimbabwean players on the score sheet. Then we took on Dagenham Redbridge at their gaff. The return leg, so to speak. Must win, I would say. Gorman to Dayton. Squeezes in the near post. 1-0. Uh, and then the points were in the bag thanks to a penalty from Alex Lawless towards the middle of the second half. Then we took on Boreham Wood. Wanted to continue the momentum. Sendles White flings it to Caprice. Hammerliner with probably the goal of the season. Uh, to continue his free scoring reign. Second of the, the night was a corner. Grandison getting his head on it for his first of the season. <coughs> then we slipped up to Tamworth in the FA Trophy. Again playing a weakened side. Mbamba with his second of the season. And then Ricardo Fuller from the spot on his debut. A 38 year old veteran. Um, glad to see him scoring. Then we took on our promotion chasing Halifax. And then we beat them 4-1 at that gaff. Macaulay Bond with a hat trick. That was his first of the day. Dayton involved in the second. Sets up Clay over to Hammerlinen who scored uh, also. Macaulay Bond from the hat from the spot for this hat trick. So that brings you up to speed. Oh, in fact uh, we do have the older shot game but no real uh, highlight from that because that was just a complete nightmare. So that brings you pretty much up to speed. So let's head over to that Hartlepool match and give you one more piece before we tap out. So here's my starting 11 for the match against Strugglers Hartlepool. We're playing at their place. Uh, I'm going to give you a debut for you guys. Cassian Thomas brought in on uh, free transfer from Strugglers Bromley. He's straight into my lineup, uh, which forces out uh, Dale Gorman, the low knee. Um, but I've got him on the bench just in case. I'm also sticking Ricardo Fuller, the vet. On the bench, Mabamba and Josh Karoma. So let's get stuck into this game. So formations, they're going with a 4-4-1-1. Uh, Preston up front. As for me, I'm sticking to my tried and trusted formation, even though it does wiggle out on me. Um, so let's get straight into the team talk. Passionate. Uh, we could potentially lose our thing. Oh, that was a pretty woeful team talk. So let's get stuck into it. Currently top of the table, it would be nice to give you guys a victory to bid you adieu until we meet again next week on Twitch. And speaking of Twitch, if you haven't done so already, make sure you check out my Twitch channel. Details are in the description below. And while you're there, hit the follow button. I'll keep you bang up to date with when I go live, which is mainly Tuesdays and Thursdays. And speaking of hitting buttons, might as well hit the subscribe button right here on the YouTube channel. Keep you bang up to date with any FM related videos that I do over the next few days. I've got a lot of stuff in the pipeline, um, which hopefully will go live in December. Uh, some exciting stuff, so feel free to check that out when it goes on to the tube. But here we are back at Hartlepool. Looks like we have a throw in. Yep, I thought it could have been a penalty, but no. Um, yeah, there was a lot of goals and a lot of drama uh, on Thursday's um, Twitch, Twitch stream. Hoping to continue that progress. Here we are now with Wood. Crosses it in. Doesn't get that far. Broken up by Hartlepool who break with Preston. He's got a lot of work to do from here. And he actually sticks it in the back of the net. Unbelievable. Unbelie I should just stick to, stick to Twitch because everything was going well. But when I'm off camera or when I'm not off the stream, it's a nightmare. Here we go. Hartlepool now to Donaldson. Devericks. As a snapshot, Granger saves. That currently puts uh, Dagenham and Redbridge at the top of the table. Oh my goodness. Jonathan Franks makes it 2 0. What a mare. All my hard work this week going to pot. We can't finish second. We cannot finish second because it's a stinking lottery. Here we go. Deverix with a free kick once again. 3 0 would definitely be game over. Granger collects, uh, throws it to Wood. Macaulay Bone. Born even. Hammerlinen up front. Whatever. What's he doing? Thomas. Debut to forget thus far. Lawless to Judd. Crosses in there. Nobody's there, buddy. Nobody is there. Why is nobody there? Because no one's playing in their shitty positions. Absolutely baffles me. Absolutely baffles me. 
Granderson there clean up. We are playing without our two starting centre backs. Macaulay Bond to Wood. Humps it forward. Hammerlinen. That's why you play on the wing, boy. That's why you play on the wing. Dayton with a free kick. Can he get back into it? Absolutely not. Loach saves uh, for Hartlepool. Dismal, dismal, dismal. That's all I can say. They're struggling. They're struggling at the foot of the table. Uh, and we are supposed to be challenging. Devericks, free kick. Preston nearly adds to our woes. We've got nothing. We've got nothing today. We're toothless. Franks delivers another cross. Headed only as far as Franks again. They'll have another shot at this. Franks, Newton, Granger's made to scramble. But really wasn't going in. What can we do? What can we do? I'm going to have to switch to the 4-4-2, looks like. Um, we're, we are in much better shape than him. We've got a little bit more in the tank. Can we actually get a goal before halftime? That would be ideal. That would be ideal. Wood floats it to Thomas. So far, he's been shitty. Uh, floats it in there. They're going to clean this up to Franks now. This could actually be a Hartlepool highlight over to Donaldson. They're building. Preston is nearly on it. Thomas, lawless, gives it straight away. Back to Hartlepool. Judd to Dayton. Is this a dead rubber of a highlight? No, Macaulay Bones in there. The man's on fire. Not today, though. It's a goal kick. Goes out. That's probably the half right there. 2-0 down to Franks and also Preston. Uh, Thomas, been shitty. We're going to have to really reek in the changes here. Um, and I'm going to start with the tactics. I'm going to get into this 4-4-2, which is uh, uh, Overload, a.k.a. Gung Ho, Hammerlinen. You're, you're on borrowed time at the moment, Hammerlinen. I'm not, I'm not liking your performance. Uh, Thomas, you're coming off. The veteran, Ricardo Fuller. If there's ever a time to become a hero, today is the day. Macaulay Bond, advance forward. Um, Dayton, Lawless, Clay, Hammerlinen. Gorman, shall I? Shall I? For Clay? Yes, it's happening. It is happening. Uh, Karoma. Mamba, let's switch that around. I'm going, I'm going all out. Three substitutions, substitutions, Mbamba for, uh, we got, um, I'm going for it. I've got no other, other choice. We're two nil down. Big changes required for us to get anything out of this game. I would take a point at this moment, even though we should be really banking on free Macaulay Bond early days. Um, Amounts to nothing. Hartley Pool will clear. We are. This is it. Uh, this is my plan B. If this fails. I've got no other option. Maybe I could go uh, three, three, two, five, something like that. But hopefully we can we can chip away at them. Macaulay Bond. He'll get. He'll take a corner. He'll take one. Live TV, folks. Lawless. Holds up the ball, looking for options, just gives it away. And they pump it clear. Hartlepool look like they've got this bad boy under control. Munns, Dayton, what's he got? Lawless, pumps bone in the middle. Makes the keeper work, really. We should be getting them in the back of the net. Corner, Gorman will float it in there. Headed clear, Macaulay Bond runs, his legs off, has a snapshot. Really poor effort. The man on form. But this is non-league football, folks. This is non-league football. So it looks like all my hard work during the stream is coming to uh, nothing. Uh, which makes the stream next week even more critical as we want to get promoted at the first attempt. And we don't really want to go through the back door of the playoffs. Because that is a uber lottery. Franks now with a free kick for Hartlepool. Floats it in there. Lang with a cheeky header. 3-0. That is absolute dross. What can we do? We, well, we got nothing. We got nothing in the tank. Um, I'm, I'm going gung ho as it is. It could end up worse. Over the top, Ricardo Fuller, the aging veteran, crosses. Is that a shot? Was that a shot from Fuller? Why am I playing Fuller? <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I know. I thought it. I thought he would have. He could still ex excel at this level. Obviously not. But Bone or Bon has a chance to fuller. Use your use your noggin. Sunshine. No. Doyle to Judd. Dayton. Fuller. 
He had, he had an effort. He had an effort. That was uh, one of the best chances we've had. Gorman. Tries to put us on a bit of pressure. Mabamba. Dayton. Again, the veteran fuller has a crack. But it's been pretty shitty. And I think they're going to add to it here. This is going to be... It's going to be an embarrassment. An embarrassment for the Orient. Granger made to work for it. The result will put Dagenham at the moment only the one point clear. I hope. We'll, we'll have to double check that after it. They've got a superior goal difference than us. Um, Geisley still five points adrift, but they've got a game in hand. But we all know that means nothing until they actually put the points on the board. So this is one of the ones that we really want to forget. Um, we want to put this one behind. We've had a couple of those. We did uh, get a bit of a, t uh, a footballing lesson from Torquay as well as Solihull Moors. Um, but this is up there. This is up there with one of them them Turkey performances. I just hope maybe we can get a goal. Give the fans something to... That was greed. That was greed, Fuller. Bond was in the middle. He could have easily popped a head in there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's, 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 that's it. That's all I can say. Unbelievable. They've been the better side, have they? We've had, we've really put the, put them to the, put them to the sword in the second half, uh, chances-wise. They've just been woeful. Granderson, the Macaulay Bond, one-on-one. -on -one. The, the Loach has been supreme today. Uh, I think he was formerly on Watford's books back in the day, but today he's been world-class, or at least um, League Two class, because Hartlepool. Defended when they needed to. They, they scored when they needed to. We have just been shit. They were, yeah, they're happy with that. Just hoofing it. They've got a three goal cushion anyway. Judd floats it in there to Lawless Dayton. Macaulay Bond. No. Mabamba, his uh, compatriot, flings a cross in. Pretty deadly cross. Doesn't come to it. Gorman over the top. Loach, long arms. Easy catch. In the end, so that's probably going to wrap it up here. Uh, I'm I'm done with it. I'm done with it already. Last minute highlight. Are they going to stick a fourth in to really rub the salt in? Preston has a chance uh, off the post and out. That's got to be the lot. Blow the whistle, ref. I'm done with it. I'm hoping that's what the table is because that's that's workable. We could we could we could get that one goal that one point back. Um, just got to keep an eye on these guys down here. We definitely don't want to end in the playoffs. What's going on here? Free kick. Deverick Dix. Four. Hartlepool. Headed clear. Lawless. That's the last bit of action from a piss poor day. And I'm going to be absolutely livid. So, folks, it is as expected. Dagenham and Redbridge lead by just the one point. Um, in fact, Geisley have got two games in hand. So they could actually uh, eclipse uh, Leighton Orient and squeeze into second spot. If they win those two games in hand, again, that's uh, going to get points on the board first. Uh, next time you'll see me, we will be covering these games against Tranmere, Flyde, Chester, Torquay, Dover and Ebb's Fleet uh, on the stream on Twitch on Tuesday. And then this probably will hopefully get through this ass cluster before uh, the week is out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all Rise of the Orient uh, videos that I put online and all FM-related content. And again, if you are a Rovers fan and you're thinking, what the heck's he doing with the Leighton Orient stuff? Don't worry, Rovers will always be my number one and there's going to be Rovers videos coming thick and fast anyway. Uh, also, check me out on Twitch. Details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Come on, Orient. Come on, Rovers. Let's get ourselves out of all these divisions that we're all in. Until next time. Chat for now. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not, Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.